Okay, so we've got all our data in, in our um, database, but we want to be able to search for that, and we want to be able to search for it quite easily. Um, and the way we do that is using a search query, but we have to make a query first before we can use it. So here's my students table. I'm going to come up to the top tab here, and I'm going to choose the one that says create, and I'm going to choose the one that says query wizard. Um, and when that opens, I've got four options, but I want the, the top one, the simple one, and I'll click OK. This is now showing me, I've only got one table, so my table called students has got all these fields in them. Basically, at the, in the first instance, I'm going to use all of those things, um, and then I'm going to get rid of a couple. So I'm going to take them all across by hitting the double arrow, and then the ones that I don't want, I don't need the ID, so I'm going to send that back to the left, and I don't need the photograph at the moment, so I'm going to send that back to the left as well. Okay, the rest of them I do want, so I'm going to hit next. It's telling me it's going to show me all the records, and that's fine, that's what I want. Hit next again, and it's what do I want to call this thing. So I'm going to call this one, uh, I'm going to call this one house, because I'm going to use this query to query which, people, which houses people are in. So type in house, click finish. So at the moment, here's my query. It looks very much the same as my table, except there's no photo in it, and it hasn't got the ID column. But you can see over here on the left in this access panel, which by the way you can minimize if you need to and open up, um, but it tells me I've got a table called student, I've got a query called house, and this is where I'm looking at, house, this is my query up here. So at the moment it's showing me all the houses, but it would be really useful if I could find a way of just searching for specific houses to see who's in them. So that's what I'm going to do. So now that I've got this one up, I'm going to go back into my home view, and I'm going to, again, like I did with my table, I'm going to choose my design view. Go into my design view, and this is what it looks like. It looks a little bit different. Now here, this is the window that tells me which table is, um, is being accessed. Now if I wanted to, say for instance, put that photo field back, I could literally drag it from here down to this bottom panel, and it would add it to my query. These ones that have got ticks on means they're, it's going to show. So if I wanted to have surname available, but maybe I didn't want to actually show it th on this occasion, I could just take the tick off, and when it comes out later, it won't show that column. But if I want to come back and tick it and switch it back on, it's very easy to do so. I'm going to leave them all switched on for the moment. But there's a few things that's worth looking at on here, which are, is quite interesting. First of all, if you remember, when the data went in, it wasn't in alphabetically. So it, it was all very haphazard. If I wanted it to be alphabetical, I could basically tell it to sort, and obviously the surname is the column to sort it by, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose Ascending. And that should now, when I run it in a minute, you'll see that that should sort my data. So I'm going to give it a test run now and see what happens. I'm going to click Run up here, and you can see there we go, it's done that in alphabetical order now. So all the other data stays with it, so Bart Simpson is still in Ward, he's still got the same date of birth and so on, but now He's in the fourth record because the S of Simpson alphabetically is lower down. Okay, I'm going to go back into my design view again, and I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to come to this house column, the school house, and opposite in the row that says criteria, I'm going to put a square bracket in. It's really important that you use square brackets. Any other ones won't work. If you forget to put brackets in, it won't work. So I'm going to put a bracket in, and then I'm going to type a message in. I'm just going to please type in house okay so and I put a square bracket on the end please type in house so this is basically a message that's going to pop up on the screen when I run this particular query so I'm going to come back up to here I'm going to hit run it asks me what house am I interested in and I'm going to type in ward and now if I click OK it should tell me all the people who are in ward house there we go so Miley Cyrus and Bart Simpson are in ward okay I'm going to close that query and it's going to say do you want to save it I'm going to say yes so what I've back to my table in fact I can close my table so I don't get too confused save that yet now my house query over here I can right click on it and I can copy it and then I can right click again and I can paste it this time I don't want to call it copy of house I'm going to call it something else I'm going to call this one transport and I'm going to say OK this time I'm going to right click on transport and go into design view, so it's another way of getting to the same place. This one, I'm not interested in the house because I've already got one for house. This one I'm going to get rid of and I'm going to go to where it says transport and again in the criteria column I'm going to put a square bracket and I'm going to say please enter transport. 
type. Put a square bracket on the end. Okay, so again, if I hit run now, ask me what transport. So if I type in this time bus, it should find me all the people who come to school on a bus. And there we go, Minnie Mouse and Peter Parker come to school by bus. So that's basically how queries work. So you can see very easily, once you've made one, you can make as many as you want and you can have them for different things. And later on, we're going to show, I'm going to show you how you can attach little buttons to these to make them just pop up whenever you want them to in a much kind of neater looking way. But for now, that's all you need to know about how to make a query.